As you can see, SQL Backup has just finished a successful backup, and it's a great tool. It's a good way to track all the backups across your servers, to have a single pane of glass to look at backups and backup management. It does a better compression than the standard, and overall, it's just a fantastic tool. But, like any tool, it can have problems too. Now, SQL Backup has log files, and you may want to be able to track down these log files to understand if you hit problems. Now, like the other Redgate tools, the application itself does have the log files in the app data location there, so you can always track them down and see the behaviors of the you know system and the logs and how the backups are running and all that fun stuff for the application itself. But because you also have servers that you're connecting to, you're going to want to look at the logs for those as well. Now those logs are a little different. Um, that's located in in oh I'm sorry, different one. That's located in um, the program data folder, Redgate, and then SQL Backup. And inside of SQL Backup, you will see the logs, and then there will be a log for each server that you're running. And so then you can get the information about the, um, inf the backups and stuff on that server from there. And then there's one other location, and that's uh, program data, Redgate logs, and then there's um, SQL, monitor, uh, SQL Backup logs um, if you've got um, a, a shared or hosted storage um, that you're using. If you're using the hosted storage, then you'll see it there. So those are the three locations that you'll see for the logs in SQL Backup. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. Thanks for watching.